Welcome back everyone. I'm Karen from Twin Tears Homestead and today we're going to show you the seedlings we planted, or I guess we planted seeds. <laughs> and okay, so we planted these a week ago and they've been coming up really well. We made these soil blocks um, with this handy little soil block maker. Uh, with our own compost that we've made in the chicken yard. Um, it was the chicken bedding, everything from the chicken coop, plus wood chips. Yeah. Wood chips. Um, and the chickens broke it down and worked it through it and it turned into this beautiful soil we have. So we, a week ago we planted these seeds and... <clears throat> oh. And we're still inside right now because it was a little cold outside, so... We've kept them inside and yes. we we'll, con we'll consider this our first planting. We'll plant a, a probably another batch of this stuff um, just after Easter mm -hmm. so that we can get a staggered uh, harvest. Yep. We normally plant them out on the back porch, but this was just better this year. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cold still. It even was snowing this morning. So we made with our soil block maker um, about 940 blocks. Yeah. Is that right? 940. Yep. And right here is about. I think it was about 300 and 300 or so of the soil blocks. So it's about one third of the ones that we made. Mm -hmm. um, and this, I think we made the made all of these at about. Uh, I want to say a 15 gallon tote of the compost that we took out of the chicken yard. So we'll just go down through and show you the, some of the different plants that we have. In the blocks. In the blocks. Okay, so here, this one we've got flowers. We've got some marigold, uh, several rows of marigold. There's two different kinds, petite marigolds and cracker jacks. Um, I think I just got those seeds from Walmart. Why don't you put your finger down in there and just show how big some of those are compared to your finger line. What? Like that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty good for a week. It's it ha We have good sunlight down here during the day. Um, then these are candy tufts. I'm not really familiar with the flowers, but they were pretty, so... <laughs> so we got them. And this one, we've got some corn seed... Corn kernels? Corn started. <laughs> corn seeds. <laughs> Uh, they were they were actually seeds that we took off of some ears of corn that we had dried out. Uh, we picked out some uh, sweet corn, some sweet corn, and um, I can't can't Dried remember corn. what else. It was a tricolored corn. I don't remember I don't, what it was, remember. but we took a couple of ears of that and dried it, and then we took all the kernels off, and then just to see if it would work, just to see if those those the ones that we saved were really nice. So we wanted to see if taking the seeds off of the really good cobs would um, essentially clone the, the results. So I think in the front half of that one close to Karen is all the corn. Yep, this is corn plantings. and then this is four o'clock flowers, which Liliana pointed out. She's like, oh, this one's pretty. It has a nice color on the leaf. So. So that's the corn and more flowers, four, four o'clock flowers. And this one is mainly snap peas, sugar snap peas. They had the pretty pink seeds. <laughs> is that the outside of the seed sticking up there? You push this? it up and out, yeah. Yeah, they do that. Like. And then down here, with it's still Hi, Liliana. Out. <laughs> I don't Did you help plant some of these? Yes. Then we have eggplant, the Japanese eggplant. Um, and then we have the peppermint chard. Swiss chard? Peppermint Swiss chard? I don't know. The envelope said peppermint chard. 
<laughs> which I have never had, but we thought we'd try some. Uh, this was cherry tomatoes. Some of those are doing very well. They're, um, I'd say nearly five inches after a week. And pole beans. So our green beans. Right? Yes. There's, I'm not sure how many rows. This tray seems to be doing the best. Well, okay, so we have broccoli here. Cucumber, two different kinds of cucumber. I didn't write down which one was which, but there was a, a, a sweet, sweet cucumber and then a pickly Pickling. cucumber. Yeah. And right now they look exactly the same to me. So <laughs> then cauliflower. I think it was just this one row. Or no, wait a minute, zucchini. So broccoli, cucumber, cucumber, zucchini. This, this is this the cauliflower. cauliflower. And then a sweet pepper. That isn't coming up right now. Yep, just like the eggplant. Well, maybe we should turn the trays We tomorrow can rotate them, yeah. So they get more light. And this one is all sunflower. So, yeah, and these are growing pretty, pretty good. So I want to do an experiment between, uh, with, with the soil um, to see whether this is performing as well as, or maybe better, or worse, I guess, than say miracle Grow potting soil. I think that's what we have. So um, I'm gonna take some seeds and we'll plant them in the same kind of pots, in the same location, uh, in the same tray perhaps, same. And then we'll, we'll plant some in our soil and some in the potting soil from the store and just see if they come up the same or one grows better than the other. Just just to see. Yep. It'll be interesting to find out if our you know, the chicken manure and all that stuff. Whatever else was in this compost. Um fares well, fares better than the Hi Alana. Hi. Than the store bought potting soil. These are the sugar snap peas. I see so I think that's pretty much it. Did you want to add anything? Um, yeah, these have probably another two weeks to go before we intend to take them out and put them in the garden. So we'll do that just after Easter um, so that we'll clear all these trays out and that's when we'll have our, our second seeding uh, in the trays. Um, so these will all go out new seeds will go in. Maybe that's when we can do our experiment. So I think that's that's about it. So overall we have about um, I think about three 300 seeds here. Um, you may have noticed another video that we did where Karen was planting out in the garden for things that were going directly in the ground. We expect I think all of this except the corn. The corn is going to go directly in the ground. Uh, all the rest of this are going to go in the hay bales that you've seen in the garden. Uh, right? I think all the rest of this is going to go in yes. the hay bales. Yeah. Well, not the sunflowers. Right. We'll put that around the perimeter by the, um, on, on the, the far, far end. end of, by the chickens. The garden. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I think that's about it. So. Well, I'm kind of wondering if anybody can tell us like this. Are we still good to plant this? <laughs> it looks like mold, like a mold, like a fungus. I don't know. That just showed up. That wasn't there before, so. Yeah. So, let me know what you think. Can I still plant that? <laughs> or is it gone? Maybe if we just clean it off. Yeah. But they're all doing very well. I think we'll rotate the trays. We'll rotate those tonight so that this these far ends will will get all the sun the next couple of days. See my ugly nails. That's about up to the second line of my finger. These are 
They're not bad. These probably just take longer to germinate. I don't remember what the packet said. So I think it'll be good. Yeah, all this stuff will be ready to harvest. Um, probably starting in early June and it will continue to go through, uh, I believe, mid-July. Maybe not the corn. Yeah, not the corn. So uh, the one thing I'll mention is that we've, we've got to do something about getting alternative water options out to our garden because we have a water softener here on our house and I don't think the salt in that water is really great for the plants. However, we've got a pump that can pull water up out of the pond and that pond has a lot of fish fertilizer in it. Yes. And it really does wonder for the plants when we put that on our trees last year, uh, especially some new newly planted trees. Those yeah. trees really took off. So I'm planning to run a lineup from the pond um, in one of the buildings outside and have a pump in there and then have the output of the pump feed a sprinkler system into the garden. And that really would be ideal. So there'll be another video on that when I get it when I get it off and going, but it's gonna be a couple weeks still. So I think that'll do it for the day. Okay. Thanks for watching everybody. Thank you all. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe and feel free to share with others. Yes, please. Alright everybody, have a great day. Bye. Bye.